um, what I'd love people to know is that um, beyond the disability of a person, I hate that word disability because I'm not disabled, I'm just, you know, I have to go into the garage and get something fixed but there's no part for me. <laughs> um, and I, so I can't get it fixed, I just have to deal with it. But um, people are m such a holistic uh, entity of energy and each one of us is this ball of energy. And you did ask me about uh, the painting Ascension when we were uh, chatting previously. And the painting I painted called Ascension is, um, first of all, to live near Stanley Park. I live mm. in the West End. It's just, you know, to, <laughs> to live in heaven. And so, you know, I walk two hours a day. Um, and I'm also a martial artist. I yes. practice yoga. Yoshin Can Aikido. I have a, a second Q brown belt. So wow. uh, from next year, now that I've adapted to my balance more with my eyes, I um, will be back on the mat next year and training. And one of my goals is to get my black belt and to teach um, uh, Aikido. Um, it's something that has helped me in my life. As a woman, I can go anywhere and I uh, know that I can competently uh, take care of myself. Um, I don't have to be reliant on anyone to protect me. Um, I have a good fighting chance, all yes. right, as opposed to no chance. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people say, oh, well, you know, you know, if somebody attacks you, you might not, you're going to shock and you won't be able to do anything. And I'm like, yeah, but, you know, I could get attacked, but at least when the shock wears off, I'll think of a way of what to do, as opposed to just sitting there and like, oh, I can't do anything, you know, I've been attacked. So, uh, Aikido is also a self-empowering thing that I've done in my life to overcome a fear of men, which I'm over. Um, and, um, but Ascension, the painting Ascension, there's steps coming up from the water um, of the bay, and then they go up into the hillside of Stanley Park into the forest. And um, the colors are sort of like a, um, a sort of pink to gold to uh, sort of like it's a red mm. tint that I popped in there and the one day when you're walking around Stanley Park it's full of surprises as you come along the seawall every corner you take presents you with whatever the ocean has brought mm. in so it's always different and the ocean air is always uplifting so it's very holistically healthy and I came around the corner and the the tide had brought in this beautiful pattern of the sand and the seaweed and the rocks and, it, and just the, you know, the way the wall curved round, and it invited you in. And I was like, oh, I have to paint that composition. So I hadn't actually focused on the stairs coming up from the wall, from the sand, and then up the hill. Um, but when I started to paint it from my reference picture, I was like, there's stairs in here. Oh, dear, that changes everything. <laughs> and then I was just sort of reminded of a Jacob's sort of ladder and, you know, our spiritual advancement uh, is another dom dimension of ourselves which is there which we don't know too much about but in our you know this say well when you die you ascend but you know nobody knows I mean you, know, you could die and be sitting right next to me it's like where do you go it's like so but we have this idea also in life that you know if, uh, the definition in the dictionary is if to ascend is you know the rock star ascended to great heights well you know, we're, we're sort of judged in our lives on, you know, if you get to the next step and you get to the next step and then you sort of climb higher and higher and, oh, he's made it. You know, well, what is that all about? It's so ridiculous. It's so stupid in a way. And so what I love about the Stanley Park seawall and what Ascension really is all about, Ascension is self-discovery within yourself and what the the Vancouver Stanley Park seawall provides you with is you start one side and you can walk for three hours and it's, you can just do a walking meditation mm -hmm. you know you you don't have to worry where you're going you know you're going to start there and you're going to walk all the way around and you're just in this you know it's almost like a mandala you know which the city has created and People come from all over the world and they're just ecstatic. When you mm -hmm. walk along there, people are just so happy. Mm -hmm. So for me, seawall ascension is a natural uh, setting for a walking meditation to just reflect on yourself and, you know, to get grounded. Go stick your feet in the sand. Go stick your feet in the water. 
you know, mm -hmm. stick your feet in the forest. Yes. Touch yeah. the tree, be in the forest. So I feel really blessed to be near such a magnificent meditative place uh, to renew my health, myself, um, by living in the West End of Vancouver. And um, that's great. And